Alkenes are, on the whole, generally pretty stable molecules. They're found ubiquitously in biology, especially in steroids and fatty acids. Because of their rigidity and lack of free rotation, they provide shape and structure to molecules. Among alkenes, there are differences in stability. Some are more stable than others. In general, cis alkenes tend to be less stable than trans alkenes because when large substituents are cis to one another, there's electron-electron repulsion between them. This is sometimes called steric clash. There are also stability trends based on the substituents on the alkene. The more non-hydrogen substituents, the more stable the alkene. So the unsubstituted ethylene is less stable than monosubstituted alkenes, which are less stable than disubstituted, trisubstituted, or tetrasubstituted alkenes. The reason for this trend is related to why more highly substituted carbocations are more stable. Hyperconjugation. Alkenes have unfilled, relatively low-energy pi star orbitals. We've said that they're not great acceptor orbitals in chemical reactions, and that's true, but they're still there. And empty orbitals can be satiated or stabilized by any electron pairs that can overlap with them. The pi star orbital can align with the adjacent CC or CH sigma bonds, lowering the energy of the bonding electrons and raising the energy of pi star CC, both of which contribute to added stability. This phenomenon, hyperconjugation, is the partial donation of sigma bonding electrons into adjacent empty orbitals, and can be used to explain many stability trends in chemistry. 